dear students welcome to lesson number 22 size and types of events objectives 1 to understand the size and types of events 2 to learn planning differently for different events 3 to know about various resources that helps manage different events 4 to learn how to apply requirements based on size and types of events and number 5 to understand the usage of pr and social media tools to get best results event management industry is a sector that specializes in planning organizing and executing various types and sizes of events such as conferences meetings weddings festivals trade shows product launches etc etc The industry has grown significantly in recent years with more companies and individuals seeking professional help to plan and execute events. Technology has also played a significant role in the industry with the use of event management software and virtual events becoming more popular. The event industry has demonstrated remarkable resilience in pivoting to the new normal. in the uncertain post pandemic business environment events have gone hybrid online events are on the rise with people gradually warming up to in person events again 95% of marketers believe in in person events are crucial for business success this industry is expected to continue growing with a projected global value of over 1.5 trillion dollars by 2025 in this lesson we are going to deal with the size of events types of events and the importance of understanding their nature together with role of public relations events play a significant role in our lives in bringing people together for various purposes and create memorable experiences from personal functions to social gatherings conferences to cultural events educational webinars etc events have now become integral part of human society social gatherings are to strengthen the relationships with friends unknowns as well as acquaintances celebrating special occasions event types can be separated into corporate private or charity corporate events focus on business and customers whereas private events are more recreational and charity events are for philanthropy purposes the best corporate events have concrete and achievable goals associated with them which makes sense given the cost and amount of planning that goes into each and every event every event has its exclusiveness and importance one rule may not apply to another we would have witnessed the different events in our neighborhood or in public places every event has its own outlook and needs it is therefore important to know understand and equip ourselves to cater to various requirements of an event and plan it appropriately event can be a public event community event or personal event whatever is the event the planning and execution differs from event to event it is also important to know the size of events of any corporate programs like conferences seminars employee activities etc or recreation activities for children and adults marriages launch of audio releases announcements of a movie release promotional activities baby shower picnics tours to name a few an event planner may be overwhelmed and confused with the different types of events each event has its own unique purpose target audience and desired outcomes making it crucial for organizers to grasp the subtle nuances 
that distinguish one kind of event from another. Understanding these differences is essential to ensure that the events are planned and executed effectively and successfully to meet the goals and expectations of not only clients but also the attendees. Every event has a different objective or goal and as the organizer it is important that we understand each subtle nuance to ensure that the events we organize are considered a success. Events are either smaller or larger. Sizes differ from budget to budget. Types and size of events go hand in hand making the events possible. Events can be small or big depending on their nature and purpose. Small events are for targeted audience or personal invitees whereas larger events are for larger gatherings and for information to the general public also. Now what are small events? Wedding and wedding anniversaries or birthday engagement, community events, baby shower, personal parties, office meetings and team outing, retreats, wedding and anniversaries. These are family events that target audiences or the families and friends. These events require a wedding planner who can cater to the needs of the wedding like creative ideas from rituals, catering, venues for wedding and reception. The pavilions, receiving them, transport, accommodating guests, the families of bride and grooms, the clothes they need, gifts, photography and videography. It does not stop here. The entire event coverage is recorded and made a digital and physical album for the two families to recall or share with friends. For an event manager, sometimes such events are quite a money. Pre-wed shootings also require logistics like venue, properties, photographers and videographers and this event needs a better management. Engagement. As in the case of weddings and anniversaries, all rules and logistics required for this event also. It begins from matchmaking. The parents of bride and groom upload their requirements on websites like Bharat Matrimony and the like for suitable alliance on paying a fixed amount of money. Once the suitable alliance match, the same website allows their own planners to get in touch with the two parties and works out an ideal plan. Community events. Gated communities organize important days like New Year, festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi, Holi, national holidays like Independence Day and Republic Day, etc. together. The community hires an event manager to plan and execute these events appropriately. For example, to organize Ganesh Chaturthi, money goes into setting a stage, installing an idol, arranging for a priest, puja, people's participation, prasadam, etc. Same way the other events. Similarly, when there is a final match of cricket, the community spends money to put a projector in an open place within the premises for the residents to watch and enjoy. Baby shower. Today's trend is to picture every moment in life, making the memory more beautiful by way of video and photos. Photographer does the magic with his lenses. A venue is selected to shoot the event and candid pictures are shot. Pre-event and post-event pictures are considered as precious for the party. Personal or birthday parties. These are very personal to the host. It is a very small gathering who spend some time together. They hire event managers to entertain the gathering with their games and entertainments from mimicry to singing and dancing. Small gifts are distributed. Event managers hold all responsibilities in organizing this kind of events. Office meeting or team outing. 
the corporates engage event managers to organize an outbound for the employees for a day or two where they spend time in understanding themselves. Corporates help employees for their inner engineering. In today's corporate life, one does not find time to spare for their physical and mental well-being. This leads to stress and depression amongst employees. Some corporates believe employee retention, so organize such events to give their employees a break from the routine, therefore spend that extra penny on them. This has opened another window for the event managers to pitch in. Such events are carefully planned so that participants detox mentally completely. This helps the employers to retain good talents. Retreats. This happens in specific venues. This can be a smaller group of people or community who look for a place where they do nothing. The venue provides organic food, walking inside the thick plantations or forest-like venues. Learn more about nature and enjoy. Mostly such events are organized in farmhouses. Such venues are booked through summer. Event managers leave no stone unturned in facilitating anything and everything under the sun. Now large events. Public rallies and meetings, exhibitions, expos and trade shows, product launches, corporate events and conferences, appreciations and acknowledgements, fundraising. Let us see public rallies and public meetings. Normally such events take place in political scenario, health marathons, etc. The target audiences are public at large. Those with common interests gather at such events. Gathering will be in thousands. Event managers are expected to run the show with all facilities and without any casualties. From pavilions to barricades, the event managers organize everything. These type of events are organized to create an awareness of any social concern or political concern. Convening a public event requires establishing clear goals for the event and careful design of a process to bring people together to reach the established goals. The process of convening, while often initiated by an individual, can be more effective when handled through the work of a group. Public rallies are peaceful, energetic, passionate and meaningful way for the community to unite and raise awareness about a particular concern or issue. A well-organized rally or march communicates a movement's message clearly and accurately to the intended recipients and the broader public. They are the means to assert empowerment and to influence decision makers. It is one of many organizing tools at the disposal and incorporates other tools like petition gathering, storytelling, generating media and building partnerships. Exhibitions, expos, trade shows. Whether it is a general exhibition of all kinds of stall, game points, eat points and stoppings or any specific industrial trade exhibition where companies in the same business exhibit their products in a common venue to showcase the uniqueness of their own products, general public and industry enthusiastic or the target audiences. These events take place over a period of time. Per day, footfall during these events are in thousands. Participating in these trade shows, trade fairs and international exhibitions and conferences can help reach out the targeted audience, promote and expand business substantially. A trade is how a business event where companies in a specific industry gather to showcase and promote their latest products and services. 
The attendees at these events include representatives from companies, distributors, resellers, suppliers, members of the industry and media in addition to the general public. Product launches. A product launch refers to the process of introducing a new product or a service to the market. It involves various activities and strategies aimed at creating awareness, generating interest and driving sales for the newly launched product. Companies manufacture new products or add to the running business choose a day to launch a new one expecting a huge turnout. It is important to keep the sales point ready and quick in action to disperse the products if there is any need. There will be stage presence by the company's representatives. The media is also invited. Therefore, for more visibility, a formal press release and pictures pertaining to the event are sent out to media for its coverage. It is the responsibility of the event manager to report coverages to the client the next day to measure the return on investment. There are three main types of product launch according to the specific event. Number one, creation of a new product. Number two, adding brand new features to the existing product. And three, support and maintenance to the existing product. These things result from and aim at market research, product development, marketing strategy, advertising, public relations efforts, sales training, distribution, planning and post launch evaluation. Corporate events, conferences. Corporate event planners have to connect the dots between specific business objectives and event types. Trying to sort out what types of events are best for achieving the organization's unique goals can be challenging since there are so many options to choose from. These corporate events like conferences and seminars organized on a major scale where relevant functionaries are invited and participated. It is not easy for a corporate planner to put things together. Large scale events present unique challenges. It is not a cakewalk for event managers. They require an extra measure of planning, coordination and event management grit. Not everyone in any event management company or its clients organization will have the same sense of urgency. But to pull off a massive event, everyone needs to share the same goal and orient in the same direction. Otherwise, important budget approvals and last minute decisions may not be addressed promptly. It needs a team to work with whom can handle creative stuff and unique ideas, venue, possible speakers, etc. Appreciations, acknowledgements. These are few corporate uh, events to encourage its employees and partners in the business. The corporate announces incentives. Incentives are kind of events which are aimed at rewarding the best employees, staff, distributors, dealers, stockists and even customers sometimes. Here, these people are taken to a trip, make them enjoy and award them. Sometimes a formal program also takes place. Sometimes families of employees are also included in the celebration. Some corporates offer jobs to spouses. It is all a form of appreciating the hard work of the employees and acknowledging their performance in the presence of others concerned. Fundraising. These events are normally organized to raise funds for any social cause with a sense of giving back to the society. Bureaucrats, stars, influencers and celebrities take interest in joining the cause. It could be a cancer awareness event, heart specific awareness event, obesity awareness, general wellness. Fund raised from such events goes to the organizations 
provide the required treatment to those who cannot afford. Fundraising event ideas have become a staple in many organizations as a way to help with fundraising event planning to create an entertaining and engaging experience for the donors. In fact, each type of fundraising event idea will attract a different demographic. A fundraising event is an event designed to raise awareness and donations for an organization's mission. A fundraising event can be a concert, silent auction, half marathon, neighborhood cookout and more. Non-profit or not-for-profit organizations use fundraising events to raise money to fuel their missions. Events allow donors and other community members to actively engage with the events. The event management process is a systematic approach that helps event organizers from idea generation to execution. It encompasses all the phases and methods employed to design and execute a truly impressive, successful occasion. This process is like a blueprint that provides a detailed framework for coordination, creativity and control. These are the needs in event management process. Number one, need clear objectives. Outlining clear goals and objectives for the event, setting a direction for planning and execution. Two, need to understand the audience. Identifying and understanding the target audience to tailor the event experience and engagement strategies accordingly. Three, need strategic planning. Developing a comprehensive plan covering logistics, budgeting and promotional strategies with the event purpose. Four, logistical coordination. Ensuring meticulous coordination of all logistical aspects including venue selection, vendor collaboration and technical requirements. Five, post event evaluation. Conducting a thorough evaluation post event, gathering feedback and analyzing key performance indicators to identify areas for improvement in future events. Event planning has significantly evolved in the wake of the pandemic. Whether planning an online webinar, a large in-person corporate trade show or an internal employee workshop, the rules around planning an event have changed. Attendee needs and expectations differ substantially based on their location, age and industry as well as many other elements. Needs of events based on venue and city differ. The importance of good event management becomes critical in a digital environment where delegates demand personalized and mobile first experiences. Every event starts with a plan, whether an online training session, executive workshop, sales webinar, offline charity gala or destination wedding. Planning for the event starts when it is just an idea and includes 1. Interacting closely with the client to execute their vision for the event. 2. Outlining the overall event theme. 3. Finalizing the budget. 4. Selecting the event location and accommodating the participants. 5. Finding the right event partners vendors and suppliers. 6. Organizing the event agenda including laying out the speaker lineup, scheduling timings and setting up contracts. 7. Ensuring seamless coordination between the client, organizer, event planner, vendors, sponsor representatives and other third party agencies. Various resources that help manage events are 
putting every resource to action is event management every event whether small or large needs a master plan for resources first in the list is audience once this is clear then comes the purpose and budget of events then the concept or idea a b c of event planning these three are three musketers of any event once these three are clear a master plan of events can be had the resources are venue infrastructure design concept logistics tent requirements photo and videographer dj's master of ceremonies stage decoration lights podium and mics projector events management is considered a project management resource planning tool is a project manager's secret weapon with them project managers can select the right resource for the right task ensure their projects have enough capacity and help plan future projects with precision resources are anything used to get a project and its task done ranging from people to machines and meeting rooms to computer software that means the best resource planning tools must accommodate diverse scheduling requirements while also adapting to many diverse needs when planning resources it needs to create a singular systematic overview of the resource skills projects availability manpower and location requirements based on size and types of events allocating right resources to the right event is very important this process requires preliminary preparations for successful completion resources allocation in event management is the process of assigning and distributing various kinds of resources to various tasks and challenges within the project the aim is to ensure that the right resources are available at the right time to complete the tasks effectively and manage possible constraints depending upon the audiences size and budget resources are pooled in if it is a small event for example in house training program parties etc facilities like mcs dj's backdrop of images photographers sound system seats lights and mics are some of the things required if it is a larger event facilities like parking barricades token power backup generator or a must good pr and a bad event will still survive but good event without pr will not survive event management depends on its pr team to promote their business public relations helps in networking with people connected with any event interaction with vendors audiences media require specialized skills pr helps in creating required visibility using traditional media and digital media public relations help not only in attracting customers media or the stakeholders but works hand in hand in creativity concept marketing and branding pr not only manages the process of conveying information from individual or company to the relevant audiences but also helps building positive image to them public relations works as a bridge between an organization and its public pr does it all to help easy exit from hardships and crises it manages from traditional media to newspapers to electronic media to digital media and adopts to all the entrants in the business like social media tools pr has evolved from just being a bridge between the company to its stakeholders to being a very influential entity in bringing changes in the society pr is the poc that is point of contact for any business media largely depends on pr person to connect with the corporate owners government officials 
celebrities or any decision makers. It is the backbone of any event. PR mostly helps in all departments of any company, even the event management company. Every individual event gives an opportunity to learn from mistakes. Therefore, it is important to analyze the events after it is completed. Checking the budget allocation, if it is properly used, if logistics and plans were handled well, if the data of audience is collected, if the attendees were properly taken care of, etc., are very important to plan future events. These experiences will speak volumes about ability of the event manager. Analysis of impact of event experiences on repeated visits shows that increases of experience intensity have impact on repeated visits of attendees. An event report, also known as a post-event report or event summary, is a document that gathers all the success metrics and other data that illustrate the performance of your event. The event report serves as the official follow-up with stakeholders, namely company executives, partners, speakers, sponsors, to communicate the level at which the goals and objectives of the event were met and will ultimately help stakeholders calculate their returns on investment as well. Event summaries typically offer insights about number of attendees and registrations, attendees data, attendee demographics, most popular content activity, attendee behavior, media and social media reach, expenses versus revenue. It is therefore important to demonstrate success to the client for engaging the event management company for the event having put time and resources into launching an event that has been months in the making. Internal stakeholders will want to know if the event is worth the money spent on it. An event report paints a complete image of the ROI for a company with actual numbers, graphs and tables. An event is considered successful when the size and types of events are equally facilitated with the right resources. Events are of two types, mega or large events and small events. Mega events are commonly major events or hallmark events. These are repeated events. Mega events are enormous events that affect the economy globally. For example, cricket, football, hockey, IFI, etc. They attract global players and bureaucrats who sponsor the events with advertisements and branding. Large events are majorly business meetings, conferences, sports and cultural arts events, cycling marathons, protests and rallies. Local community events, family events are considered as small events. All events need skilled manpower to deal with planning, creatives, ideas, conceptualizing an idea, implementing on ground, coordinating, managing resources, supervising of things on stage and off the stage, transports, invitees, their data collection, parking, barricades, etc. And finally, overviewing the event along with the team before submitting the post-event report to the client. This will help in taking notes of the loopholes in management, if any, the success rate in completing the project and learnings. Invitees feedback is very crucial for the next business of events. Public relations plays an important role in the event management as it handles information, communication and public perception. Thank you for listening.